Okay, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to be tying a muddler minnow. Something that died several times in the past. And I'm going to show you a little picture here from Dan Bailey's catalog of 1971. Little muddler minnow there. Let me read to you what it says real quick in the, just the first line or so. It says the muddler minnow is the all time greatest fly which has ever been tied. Which says a lot for that fly. They even have it on the back of their catalog. It's a Dan Bailey's 1971 catalog. Still got the original envelope order it in plus the order form and everything in the front from my from my father's I wasn't old enough in 1971 to mail order stuff yet so we're going to tie up a tr traditional butler minnow something similar to this which I've been playing around with that one here and uh, where's another traditional one at here's another traditional one Got one more here tied with the uh, turkey, the secondary turkey wings for the tail and the wing. Then I get uh, you know, experimented with other ones here uh, with hen pheasant for the wing, and here's uh, some brown hackle for the wings. I think if I make this a little bit bigger, hackle, I think that's going to turn out nice. What else do I use here? Well, here's another, uh, some hen pheasant, a uh, little rounded. Maybe not my favorite version of it. But, yeah, you know what? Throw it in my box, toss it around, see if I get a bite or two. Alright, what I have in the vise is a uh, size 8, 4 extra long stream rook. And the thread I'm going to use is it's 140 denier Danville. Let's turn it on. Wrap it back. Cut away the tag end along the way. I've been wanting to tie this on film for a while, but uh, it's hard to make it look good on film. Let's see if I can do it. All right, now we're going to start with the tail. All right, let me jump in here real quick. Hey, uh, I've already finished tying the fly, and I noticed that I overlooked something very important here. I want to show you that I can tie the fly. I want to show you how to tie the fly. And what I'm using here is two right and left wing turkey feathers. They are from the lower part of the wing. Some people refer to them as secondary feathers or speckled turkey feathers and so they're opposite of each other and when you cut them basically you're taking this the mirror image of the other one and what I'm taking is about oh uh, say about uh, half inch or so of each feather and marrying them up together and that's what I'm using here so I overlooked that, I apologize, but I wanted to make sure that uh, this is important that you, that you see what I was doing. Alright, let's get back to tying that fly. I got a bunch of turkey here that I've been going through here. You can see here I'm about just over the years whacked down through it here. So let's get a couple of posing feathers here. It looks like they are going to work. We'll cut a tail out first. And the other matching turkey feather. We're going to take about the same amount. You can lay them side by side and do it that way, but I eye it up pretty well. And 
pretty much just like that. Side by side. Take a look at the back of that catalog there. Kind of has it. Eh, might even have it down, huh? Down or up? Well, I kind of always tied them up like this. Let's do that. Let's do what I normally do. Tighten that bobbin up just a little bit and unravel. Alright, with the thread at the back, top end of the hook here, put your tail right on top and we're going to give it a pinch wrap. Put your thread in between your fingers, pinch it straight down, give it a single wrap, see how it come out. Tell you what, I'm going to give it one more secure, maybe two more. Came out just about perfect. Alright. Wrap that back up forward. Now I'm going to add a body of this gold decorative trim that I actually had high hopes for when I bought it but I found out it was too thick. Let me show you, it came out way too thick and it doesn't work on a hook this size. So what I did is I took it, split it, and ran it down. About like that. And then what I come up with is a couple pieces like this. So what I want to do is trim off the very end to get it all evened up. Bring the thread back up to where I want to start the body, which is right about here. Go ahead, tie it off. And I'm going to wrap it backwards to the base of the tail. Wrap it back forward. Work your thread. I like to flip my fly upside down. I've got a new ring light on my camera, so hopefully it is shining brightly for you. And evenly, I'm going to try to wrap this up for you here. It's all polyester, so it's going to hold up well for you. All right, once you get to the front, go ahead and tie it off. Right about there. I don't want to get too far to the front because I want to make the head of the fly yet. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it away. Yeah, it's not going to be enough for another one, so I'll just trim it up a little bit here. Here. All right, got a nice little body on there. Next, we are going to put some this gold. How about this? Thinking it's going to have a hollow core. It doesn't. So I was a little disappointed and I thought, ah, I just wasted some money. But let me show you what it does here. Play around with it. Open it up.
Cut me a little string out of there. And voila, look at this stuff. Isn't that cool? Again, it's, uh, where is it at? It's 100% polyester. No, it's nylon, 100% nylon. Beautiful color to it, too. So what I've been doing with this is using it, taking a clump. Let's see, I'll set the rest of it aside. I'll lay a layer down. Right on top. Again, we'll do a pinch wrap. Oh, wasn't a very good pinch wrap first off. Make sure everything's right on top here. Tie it in. I'm going to cut it to length. Right to the base of the tail. Boy, that just makes a great little secondary part of the body there. Cut away the front end. I initially tried to use this stuff for maybe like wings on uh, spinners, and it did not hold. Well, it soaked up the water real quick in uh, spitter sunk so you won't be seeing that one on film alright so the next thing we're going to do is grab a little bit of uh, gray fox or gray uh, squirrel tail cut away a clump of hair gonna thin it out a little bit Pinch wrap it, wrap it forward, cut away the excess, alright, everything on top so far, looking pretty good, now we're going to do another one. Alright, let's take another piece of the wing here, take uh, about the same amount, take the other side here, it's getting a little tougher for me to find these uh, secondary wings, got a buddy that uh, does some duck or some turkey hunting, and I uh, ask him for some, put a little water in, So, get that in position here. Now we're going to spin that thread up for a good pinch wrap. Okay, put your wing right on top. Make sure everything's split evenly. Out like that. Put your finger up, thread up between your fingers. Fingers there. Pinch it straight down. How'd that turn out? Did that need adjusted. It kind of fell over a little bit, huh? Redo that. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and capture it. And hand on it again. Cut away the excess. I 
Alright. Boy, this video is getting a little long, isn't it? Now we're going to take some deer hair. Take all the crap out of the body. Put it in your stacker. Alright. Take one clump. Measure it about three quarters of the length of the body. Lay it lay around on the side there. Take your next clump. And evenly, about three quarters of the length. Like that. Now you're going to push this back. Jumper thread up forward. And now you're going to take some more hair. Don't get too crazy on the amount of hair you're using. Just about, uh, oh, about a pencil or so. Clean out the fluff. Cut off the tips. And lay it right on side of the shank of the hook. Give it a wrap. Spin it on. Boy, it's not spinning so good, is it? We'll get there. I'm not the greatest deer hair spinner in the world. I'll be the first to admit that. But we'll get it on there. Boy, this man hit on my wing too. That's what I don't do very well there. Hmm. Alright, let's try it again. Clean out the next batch. About the same amount. Cut off the tips. a little better. Push that back. Try to get a little more in there. Alright, last little bit. Now oh, no, that I main hit on my wing. And tie it off. Oh, let's see if we'll be able to trim this up. See what I can do here. Okay, there you go. 
or better or for worse. <laughs> Trimmed up. <laughs> Muddler minnow. I probably could trim on this for days, huh? Hey, but it's fishable right there. May not be my prettiest video ever. It's a tough time, Phil. But, hey, it looks come out pretty good, huh? Alright, hope you like this film. Or hope you like this tie. Hope you like uh, my videos. If you do, please click subscribe. Give me a like. Tell me what you like about them. Tell me what you don't like about them. And hope you're doing a well out there this winter fishing. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.